Hi guys, we're back with sessions 47, the topic being today organ transplantation. And we're going to discuss uh, nursing from old to new, overview of organ transplantation, complications of liver failure, which include hysteresis, hepatic encephalopathy, and esophageal varices, and post-organ transplantation. So let's get started. We all know that nursing has advanced quite a bit from the days of Florence Nightingale. And it goes without saying that during that era, organ transplant was obviously unheard of. But now today, it's just a normal thing for patients to have different organs transplanted. And we know that um, we may not all encounter the one who's had the liver done, but people probably meet somebody who's had a heart, a kidney, and it is quite intensive when once a patient has had an organ transplanted because uh, it's stressful on everyone, the family members waiting for that organ, having the actual surgery done. I mean, even the intervention during that time, patients in the hospital getting the team together, and that is quite intensive. But it all comes together very nicely, and finally the job is done, and patients do go home quite successfully live with these transplants. Let's talk about the patient in liver failure. These patients experience certain complications like asterisks, which is also known as liver flap. When they extend their fingers, door hands, dorsiflexion, it literally flaps like the wings of a bird. Then you have things like esophageal varices resulting in swelling in the, um, of the varices in the esophagus, which can rupture, leading to shock. And then how about hepatic encephalopathy? Patients may experience uh, lethargy, mental confusion, and because of the toxins, the ammonia which has gone to the brain, some of these patients may even wind up having to have um, intracranial pressure monitoring done. On the right-hand side, I have included the biliary tract. You can see the liver, which is made up of four lobes. The liver is quite an important organ inside the body, and it's very involved in a number of different functions, which you'll find in Chapter 10. If you go to the clinical settings step-by-step, dearnurses.net, you'll find it in Chapter 10. Now let's talk about once an organ has been transplanted and these patients, of course, there are many people involved in the liver team. You've got the actual surgeons who do the transplanting of the liver, but how about the family members also are part of it, the social worker, the liver coordinator who helps to keep everything together, you know, communicating with all the different areas, different people involved. And then once these patients go home, all is not said and done. We have problems like follow-up care. We have these patients, uh, family members have to keep going back for uh, further in intervention. And we've also got, um, sometimes they may go home with a tube, like a T-tube, and they have to continue to empty and measure and make sure everything is no infection, lots of other things to be done. And of course, if you would take the time to go to dearnurses.net, the clinical setting, step-by-step, -step, chapter 10, you will learn a lot more than I can offer you in just a few minutes. So stay posted for more clinical information, and have a great weekend.